Good morning you guys it's Karen and today I'm reviewing a sunscreen brand which is ultraviolet I have got four of their products and tried all four of them so this is a first impressions review on each of these um, but let me start off by reading you what they say about their company on the website they say that they are offering up the next generation of sunscreen ultraviolet's effective formulas are sensorial to the highest degree with beautifully silky lightweight sunscreens that embody the brand's concept of skin screen which is comfortable formulas packed with skin love and ingredients um, that easily slot into and respect your existing skincare and makeup routine all without pilling or balling um, the founder wanted to design a wardrobe of facial sunscreen that looked good felt nice to wear and didn't bore us to tears <laughs> So as a company, they are cruelty free. They are not, not everything is vegan, but some of the products are vegan. Um, and these are all about in the 30 pound range. So it's not a, an affordable range or a drugstore range. Um, so let me start with clean screen. I have to say, firstly, I don't really understand the titles of these. They, they don't, to me, give an explanation. So you've got clean screen, queen screen, lean screen, and supreme screen. <laughs> And I, I don't feel that they're very um, explanatory, you know. Um, so let me have a look for clean screen. Okay, so this is clean screen. Um, I will try and link the little pack if there is of the, the samples because I think that will be really, really useful for you um, in knowing which one to decide and hopefully this video will as well. Um, so this one is SPF 30. This is the only one that's 30, I think. The others are all 50. Yeah, the others are all 50, but this one is SPF 30. The idea of this one, the clean screen, is that it is for sensitive skin. So I suppose they're saying clean screen in that it's clean, it doesn't have fragrance in. But then some of the others do have fragrance, which kind of throws me off a bit. But anyway, this one is fragrance free, and the idea is it's for sensitive skin. The full size is 50 mil, and I think it's 32 pound, and so it doesn't come in a little tube like this where you just twist the end. It comes in a pump dispenser, and I have read a couple of reviews saying that the pump dispenser isn't great. Not awful, but there's just a couple saying, you know, you sometimes pump and get nothing out of it, and I think I would find that frustrating, to be honest. Um, it is tinted. Let me show you this one. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get a video done of me putting all of them on. I will try and do that, but you can see that that is a really, really lightweight cream. Uh, it's a lotion. I would definitely say that's a lotion. And although it's tinted, it's definitely not changed the color of um, my hand. See there. What they say about this one is it's developed with fussy, easily irritated and sensitive complexions in mind. Um, it's fragrance free and it's perfect for blemish prone and combination skin, protecting you from the sun without any artificial fragrances or alcohol. Um, lightweight and refreshing gel texture. Yeah, it does feel quite lightweight and refreshing. Um, SPF 30, natural looking finish that won't mess your makeup up or your skin. Make short work of redness with its soothing capabilities. Titanium dioxide is what gives this formula its broad spectrum protection, while plant-derived pentavitin pumps the complexion with moisture. I've never heard of that, pentavitin. Um, think plump, juicy skin with a side of satisfied glee. <laughs> um, so the main ingredient in this is titanium dioxide, but it's not 100% mineral. This also has tinazorb M and Uvenal A plus in. So it is a mix of um, titanium dioxide in the newer kind of chemicals, if you like. Um, but it has UVA and UVB. They call all of their sunscreens reef safe because they don't have octinoxate, uh, not octinoxate, sorry, oxybenzone or palm oil in any of them. So they say that they are all reef safe. Um, my comments have I've written down are that it's thin but not gel like um, I have to say it is very refreshing feeling but when I put it on it doesn't feel like a gel well I suppose it's ever so slightly cooling maybe I'm just being super fussy with that but it did feel very thin and it feels quite nice it dries it very very quickly I found that it dried quickly and when it dried my skin felt tight that's what I noticed about it so nice to apply dried quickly um, a very light tint that didn't really affect much at all <coughs> but my skin felt very very tight once it dried excuse me um, really good under makeup I've said that it's really good under makeup and the people that might like this are those with really oily skin. Um, now it says it's created for sensitive skin. Remember I said it had titanium dioxide and tinazorb M in here. And tinazorb M is one that in studies, some people did have sensitivity to. So that's something to bear in mind um, with this. Um, the reviews, I looked up the reviews and the reviews 
there was at least three saying that this gave a white cast which is interesting because like I said it is tinted but extremely light um, so yeah three people said it gave a, a, a white cast three people said that it was drying which I would totally agree with because like I said my skin felt very very tight I think if you're going to use this one um, unless you've got super oily skin and, and don't find that your skin ever gets tight you're going to need to use a moisturizer underneath this um, doesn't sting people were saying people were saying how lovely and lightweight it feels and that, it, that it's very nice and it works under makeup etc etc so it, there's a lot of good things about it but um for me like i said you'd need to be careful with sensitive skin because of the tin absorb m um and the fact that it's dry and you'd need to use a moisturizer but other than that it was a really nice one the next one is queen screen i really didn't like this and i don't know why because i got these three like this i suppose because it's thinner but it comes in a pipette dropper type thing that doesn't really even work you can press it down and it doesn't work so i was just sort of shaking it onto my hand so let me put some on here so you can see see how thin that is actually doing it like that let me put a little bit back in there because i don't want to save some to try and put on and show you okay this one they describe as being the high priestess of glow the queen screen lightweight skin screen comes in a lightweight slightly shimmery serum like formula that will sit seamlessly under makeup and give copious amounts of glow i don't know whether you can see any glow on that and i always find it weird when they say something's going to give a glow that you put on under makeup because doesn't necessarily show through does it um smells delicately of rose that is not delicate i i haven't put it even you know although i've just put my hand up there i could smell it as soon as it comes out i could smell it i do not like that smell at all i think it's a very strong smell of rose i don't think it's delicate at all so obviously this has got fragrance in it um easily absorbed never pilling it boasts a smooth silky texture that melts into the skin laughs in the face of white cast um all while plumping the skin with vitamin C and dragocene, which I've not heard of either, which keeps skin bouncy as it shields against infrared, visible and blue light. So, yes, this is fragranced and it's very strong as the first thing I said. And that's the thing I just thought I don't really like this at all. And um, I don't think it feels lightweight. It says that it's a lightweight product, but and it looks like it's lightweight, but it feels a bit greasy to me, which I suspect is because whatever they've got in there to give it a glow you know it just feels a little bit greasy but not in a bad way it didn't feel I didn't put it on I think oh no this is horrible I just thought I wonder if this is going to sit okay under makeup but it does feel really really moisturizing and my skin did feel really lovely the ingredients in this one are octinoxate and tinazorb s and tinazorb m and so for me it certainly wouldn't be a repurchase anyway because of the fragrance but i don't want to buy something with octidoxate in it so um for me it's a complete no-no but it, it is a lovely feeling formula um it worked okay under makeup i had no issues i didn't wear it too much because like i said to me the fragrance is just so strong i didn't enjoy it and i didn't want to irritate my skin um <laughs> the skin type when i've put what skin type would i recommend it for i've said none or hardy <laughs> very very hardy skin that can put up with fragrance i mean saying that even if you don't feel the fragrance is irritating your skin chances are it could be just like cigarette smoke damages your lungs and you can't see it you know the reviews um are actually pretty good on this though they say that it's lightweight a lot of people said it was lightweight a lot of people said that there is no white cast with this um but this one isn't this is the only one that isn't tinted you know it is just a uh, white coloured it does feel like a serum a white coloured serum um glowy and one person said it was greasy so i have to say the reviews overall for this one were good but for me it's an absolute no-no because of the smell and because it's got octinoxate in i just prefer to avoid it okay so the next one is called lean screen and this one is a mineral mattifying a fragrance free spf 50 it's a mineral only spf that will have you rethinking everything you know about mineral spfs it won't feel heavy you won't look like a cricketer and sensitive skin won't throw a tantrum uh, perfect for anyone with oily or reactive skin or those who just prefer a physical sunscreen um, it won't feel sticky or heavy it's designed to soothe sensitive skin and grant a subtle matte finish um, and it's protective prowls stem from zinc oxide um soothes anti-inflammatory it's good for reactive and angry skin provides a refreshing hit of hydration i mean it sounds like it does everything doesn't it um a plump juicy finish plus antioxidant rich kakadu plum guards your skin against free radicals so 
This one is £34. Um, I think all of these three come in that same sort of pump dispenser. It is tinted. That's what it looks like. Um, this one is vegan. This is the only one I think that was listed as vegan. Um, the main ingredient in this then is zinc and if, for it being just a zinc it does, when you put it on your hand it does feel nice. It is definitely a bit thicker than you know any other one that you'd expect with it being just a mineral sunscreen. Um, and they have said you know it's it's not hard to spread and all that but m my notes say that it feels very thick on the skin, that it's not easy to spread and that it dries quickly but is hydrating. So for me I felt like I nearly, I really needed to rub this in. But I wouldn't say it was hard to spread, it just wasn't easy. It wasn't one that, you know, like a serum that goes on straight away. Like you need to work this in a little bit. Um, I say it dries quick. It's not feeling like it dries too quickly on my hand there. And it is very hydrating. I didn't actually find this to be too matte, to have too much of a matte finish. Um, but again, you'll be able to see that if I, if I manage to put a picture in of me wearing it. But even here it's, even on my hand, there's a little bit, I suppose I've put quite a few on here now, haven't I? So I don't know which one's um, showing through. But the reviews for this say, there was a lot of them saying that it wasn't mattifying at all. Um, but there were some saying, this is amazing, this is very mattifying. But there were more saying it's not mattifying at all. Um, a lot of people said how it needs working in, what I was just saying there. A lot of people said it gave no white cast, so obviously it is tinted, it's a nice coloured tint, so that's good. A lot of people saying it didn't give a white cast, and a lot of those, or certainly some that I read were saying that they had darker skin and normally had a problem with that. Um, a few people are saying how this is the best mineral sunscreen they've used, and that it's very hydrating. This one I would say is the, the best out of all of them. This is one that I would definitely consider using again. I don't... Um, I didn't find any issues with it. Like I said, my skin didn't feel dry. It didn't feel too greasy. I like the ingredients. There's nothing, no fragrance, nothing like that. It's just zinc. I'm happy with using just zinc. It's not a lightweight one. It's certainly one that I would turn to if my skin was feeling more dry, even though this says that it is more towards, didn't they say it was more towards, yeah, oily or reactive skin? I wouldn't say so. It doesn't, I don't think I would have liked to have used this when I had oily skin. I would say maybe normal skin or if you're specifically just looking for um, a physical sunscreen or a zinc sunscreen. I guess you probably get the most information from me putting it on my face. So I, I'll try and put all of these on so that you can see what they look like. But this, just down to the ingredients and how it feels and, you know, having used it for a couple of days, I would recommend this one. The final one is, which one is this, the yellow, I think, the Supreme Screen. This one is £34 for a 50ml tube. It is so, so lightly tinted and it, it does feel lightweight there. It actually feels really, really nice going on this one. Um, this one has fragrance in it and I was really surprised at that because when I first used it, I thought, is there a fragrance or is there not? It's not one that, like with that rose scented one, the queen screen where you open it and you can smell it immediately. Um, it's one where you put it on and then just occasionally I was like, oh, I can smell something clean smelling. And when I put my nose right up to it, it's very, very faint. It's very light, but it's like washing powder. That's what it smells like to me. It is like what you'd expect if you bought a candle that was like clean scent, you know? That's what it smells like. So it's quite nice, but it does have fragrance in it. Um, which I think is a shame for something that's moisturising and the fact that they're saying, you know, that they sort of gear towards sensitive skin. Um, this one I think is hydrated, so obviously it is targeted towards people with dry skin. Let me just look it up for you so I can tell you exactly what they say. So they're saying this is a moisturiser, high level SPF and primer all rolled into one. Um, it lasts in the face of white cast, offers an incredible level of protection, plumps the skin with vitamin C, um, keeps the skin feeling bouncy, super hydrating and ideal for all skin types. They're especially great for normal to dry. It's the all rounder and crowd pleaser of the SPF realm. Um, choose this if you're overwhelmed with choice and don't know what to go for. So yeah, it is very moisturising. Let's see what I've said. Well, let me tell you the ingredients first, actually. I feel like I'm all over the place this morning. I might need to redo this video if it doesn't make sense when I edit it. Um, this is another one that has octinoxate in it. So it's octinoxate, tinazorb S and tinazorb M in here. Um, it is fragrance, like I said, it is hydrating. It is aimed for dry. I would say that it would be good for dry skin. I would say um, avoid it if you have sensitive skin because of the fragrance and it also has tinazorb M in it. 
Um, the reviews, most of them, again, for this one are amazing. Um, they say that it's very hydrating. It's the best sunscreen they've ever tried. It's really lightweight. It just sinks in, which it does. It, it you know, it dries down nice, nicely. I've put, for me, it was really nice to apply. It was very silky and it makes your skin feel very soft. It is one that feels like luxurious skincare. Um, but there are also people that said they got irritation. Two people got a very severe irritation to this. So I would say that would either be something in the fragrance or it would be the Tinnosorb M. And a couple of people said that it pills as well, interestingly. It didn't for me, but a couple of people said they just couldn't get it to not ball up. Um, so that was a bit weird. But um, yeah, overall, it does feel very lovely. It's a pleasant smell, you know, if I think the fact that it's mildly fragranced might be okay for most skin. Um, okay, so that's my first impressions review of them. Let me tell you what I would recommend for different kind of skin types. So firstly, I would not recommend this one at all. This is the Queen Screen. It's too heavily fragranced and the dropper, there's a lot of issues with the dropper. Not just I've got issues, but there's issues listed, you know, in reviews. Um, if you have got oily skin, I would say to go for the clean screen because the one that they recommend for oily skin is the lean screen but I'm saying go for the clean screen which is the one that's actually recommended for people with sensitive skin but I say that because it's the one that everybody reports as drying um, which suggests it's more matte and less you know greasy feeling etc which for me it did feel very very thin and very lightweight um, and my skin felt tight. So I think back when I had really, really oily skin, I might have got on quite well with this. And the ingredients in this are good. So I would say go for the clean screen if you have oily skin. If you have dry skin that's not sensitive, then go for the Supreme screen um, because this one is, it is lightly fragranced, which is why I say don't go for it if you've got sensitive skin, but it is hydrating so good if you've got dry skin. If you have sensitive skin, I would say go for the lean screen, which I think, is it this one? Yeah, the lean screen. This is the one that is geared towards oily skin, but I, a lot of people are saying it's not mattifying. I would say this is more for normal skin, but if you've got sensitive skin, this one doesn't have any fragrance in it and it's just zinc based. So I think that one would be good for you. So what if we covered dry, oily and sensitive? Um, like I said, the queen screen, I just wouldn't recommend to anybody. So, there, none of them none of them have wowed me enough that I'm going to run out and repurchase them because the Naked Sundays one that I just reviewed for you guys, that one is just amazing. And it is, I think it's in the £30 range as well. So if I was going to buy a mineral sunscreen, it would be that one. It would be the Naked Sundays one. That The Naked Sundays one is much better than all of these, I would say, just because of the ingredients and how it feels. Like it probably feels a lot like the Supreme screen. The Naked Sundays is probably um, feels the same as this, but this one has um, the fragrance in it, you know. So yeah, hopefully that was useful. Um, I found that quite difficult. Like I said, I think it's because of the names, a clean screen and lean screen and green screen and supreme screen. I was like, which one is which? You know, um, thank goodness I write notes for things because otherwise I'd have been even more confused. But yeah, I hope you, hope you found that useful. Please do let me know if you have any questions because I am going to keep these and I haven't filmed me putting any of them on. So over the next few days, I will film me putting these on so that you've got some footage and can see what it actually looks like on skin so do let me know if you've got any questions and I will answer them for you um I need to take my makeup don't I I have got on it took me a minute to figure it out there I've got on the number seven hydro luminous foundation in cool ivory um on my eyes is the it's a pigment the one that I always wear um in blush by bare minerals but I put this thing on top of it that is by I can't remember the name of them. It's like a liquid eyeshadow. I, I will put it in the description for you. On my cheeks is NARS Blush in Sin and on my lips is a lipstick called Bottomless by Too Faced. My um, earrings, these are from, you guys have been asking about earrings lately. When I don't wear hoops, you ask about earrings. These are lovely, aren't they? These are from TK Maxx. Um, this top, it's a kind of tie dye, let me show you. And this is from Girl Marks and Spencers. And my nails, you've been asking about my nails as well. This is called Azalea and it is by Urban Decree, Urban Graffiti. So that's everything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon.